Hey, hello guys. It's been a hot second since I've done a Meet the Artist drawing. So, in preparation, I did a bunch of shitty thumbnails. Um, none of these are terribly easy to read, but they're there. Um, I ended up going with something between this and this one for the final thing, but you are about to see my shitty little drawings in real time. Yay. Probably should have sketched this, but not sketched this, filmed sketching this, uh, but then I didn't. Um, anyways, enjoy the actual speed paint. So I just said that this would be in real time. It will not be. This is a speed paint. This drawing took me 10 hours to complete. It's been condensed down to five minutes for your ease of viewing. Um, nonetheless, it is a drawing I'm relatively proud of, mostly because I attempted a background and it turned out pretty well, and I thought the pose looked pretty good as well, although I think I got some of the face facial details just a little bit off for it to be me, but it's fine. It's whatever. I just scribbled in Gizmo, my cute little kitty. Um, it was her birthday last month. She turned two. Uh, but yes, so I mentioned that this is a draw this in your style and I haven't done one in a hot sec. Said hot second was all the way back in 2019 or 2020 when I was in the depths of the creepypasta community. Haven't been there in a little while, though I do occasionally pop back into Marble Hornets, which was the main reason I got into that sort of stuff in the first place. If we're ignoring two Peter Talia, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, um, meet the artist. Uh, usually those are cute little illustrations that the artist will do of them floating around on a cute little background with a list of likes, dislikes, and sometimes cute little drawings of their inventory. I did just do air quotes, not that you guys can see them. Um, I do love that sort of setup, but I wanted to try and do something a bit more complex to force myself out of my comfort zone and make myself practice backgrounds. One of my least favorite things to draw. Um, I don't do them often because I'm not very good at them, but I'm also not going to get better at them if I don't practice. So I'm forcing myself. Uh, you don't have to do that. I just want to be better at arting, which means I have to do things I don't like very much sometimes. But anyways, um, since this is a meet, a meet the Artist, I'll also talk a little bit more about me and why I chose to do some of the elements of this drawing. Um, so first things first, we've got my outfit that I've drawn there. Uh, I really like sort of alternative fashion stuff and those are some of my favourite pieces I have in my wardrobe at the moment. I've got the crop top which is sort of a cute little, well, tube toppy type thing connected to a collar with a chain. I think it looks sick. Uh, the pants are cool lace-up pants that I got from, I think it was Black Milk or something. And the shoes that you can't actually see much of are very cool, very big, very stumpy goth boots I bought recently when I went to Melbourne for PAX. Um, they're very cool, I don't wear them as often as I'd like though, because I don't really go out all that often or have much of a reason to wear such cool shoes. But I appreciate owning them and will try and to use any excuse I can to wear them. Um, did I mention the cat? I think I mentioned the cat, but in case I didn't, that's Gizzy, my darling daughter, my little lady. She turned two this year. Um, she's of course very important and had to be in the picture. What else is there? Stuff on my desk. I was going to draw. A little pencil sketch in the notebook I have open behind me but then I totally forgot. You can also see a few little scribbles of sparks on various screens. She's my artist persona who usually would have been what I drew for this but I decided to just draw me so you've got me instead. Uh, hair's blue because my hair is currently blue in real life. I'm thinking about doing a video with me in it 
semi-soonish, so you'll hopefully get to see it, because I think it looks quite cool. Though it possibly won't be at its full saturation, just due to the nature of impermanent dyes washing themselves out. Um, you've got the little teeny tiny sands figure on my desk that was a shitty little clay fell sands that I made out of femur clay for fun and because I constantly have undertale brain rot. It is worse than usual right now but it's fine. Uh, the big skull up on my computer top is also something that I made myself out of clay for a Technoblade cosplay except I was really dumb and used air dry clay, not foam clay, so it was too heavy to actually functionally work as a mask, and if I wanted to have it around, I had to be directly holding it in my hand. Um, it's a little bit sad. It does look cool though, so I just use it as room decoration. Um, yeah, I don't think I have too much else to say. I've got posters up behind my computers, because I like to put pictures with good backgrounds in them above my computer as a way to try and entice myself into actually practicing backgrounds. Does it work? Not really. But like, it's the thought that counts. Apologies for the flashing as well. That is me playing around with different layers to see if they'll affect the image. And here's the final illustration. Um, really didn't leave me with long to talk to you guys but i hope you enjoyed this video regardless um yeah have a nice rest of your evening